Yeah, the internet is where you're going to probably get, it, even though there is a lot of images, the 5,327 pictures, it seems like a lot, there's going to be times when they don't have what you want there. Um, and you're going to want to go get your image from someplace else. So I'm going to go over to my Google Images. I already have it chosen. I went into Google, I searched on birds for images. I found one that I want to look at that I like. I can, if I'm lucky here, get this slid over to the side. I have my practice page up here at the same time. To make that smaller too. Okay. Let me get this to go. And see if I'm lucky I can drag that guy right in there. Now it brought it in as the web address, which is not what we wanted. And we did this over and over in the other class. And I wanted to make sure people understood that that was going to happen if you did that. It's not going to bring it in as, as the image if you just drag it directly from the internet like that. So let's get rid of that. Okay. Even though that seems like that would work, that seems intuitive. If I have it full size, however, I think we can bring this guy in just like this directly. Anything's in that way. All right, so let me do that again. <laughs> Because this is chances are you're going to want to do this all the time. So when you search for an image and you bring it up in Google Search, and I'm going to use Google just as an example because most people will probably use that. As long as you say see the image full size, you're actually seeing the actual image itself, not just the website where the image resides. You'll be able to drag it directly onto your page.